what is it in me that cannot let go your head carries a lot of good oil and if things begin to leave your life or people begin to leave your life or certain things don't work out is because they are not meant for you the options on the other side are way better than what you are sobbing and crying over right now that will help you detach like this Hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new hey girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel i see by the title we're going to talk about detaching detachment however you want to say it but how to detach so without further ado let's just jump right into the video today's a content date for me so i have filmed quite a bit today i've gotten a lot of work done i've been quote unquote productive right i was done for the day and something happened and it was detachment or detaching that was you know the center of that thing that happened i am currently almost on my way out because i have to be up for the friday night so i decided to sit myself back down and have a quick conversation or a quick chit chat about how to detach or the reason why you're even attached in the first place. We are 100% always attached to an outcome. It doesn't matter the situation. It could be you're attached to a person, your ex, your ex-friend, your job that you didn't get, or a situation that happened, right? Didn't quite go your way. That's the only reason why you're attached. You're not necessarily attached to that person. If you really think about it, you're not. You are, I think, smart enough or good enough to know mentally that it didn't go the way that you expected it to go for some certain reasons you actually know those reasons but the reason why you're attached to that situation is because you already created a, a thought or an outcome be fitting or fitting for you that you really loved and you romanticized and continuously made plans around that's the outcome that you're attached to you saw it with that person and you didn't create an alternative and that is the reason why you're attached to that outcome still you don't have any other plan actually it's not like you don't even have another option it's because you don't see any other option as fitting or as soothing or as enjoyable as the option that you romanticized and love so much and that doesn't necessarily mean that all these other options are not way better than the outcome that you already loved so much does this make sense so basically, the major reason why we are attached, especially to someone, is not necessarily because of that man or that woman. It's usually because of the life that we thought we would have or should have with them. We created scenarios so much in our heads that we didn't look at the alternative or even on a surface level think about the alternative. Like what would life be without you know, this person in my life, I should be able to enjoy life without this person. So we didn't necessarily think about that. And that's the reason why we're stuck attached to that person. Now I'm going to give you two or three ways, which are pretty much the major ways that you need to kickstart your journey into detaching from a situation or a person. First thing you need to do is to accept the current situation for what it is and not what you think it should be. Things happening or unraveling in your life, majority of the time, we don't plan for it. You don't see the breakup coming or even if you do see the breakup coming you don't see the exact way it will come or the exact form it would come most of the time we as human beings we have this habit of creating those scenarios of okay even if we're going to break up this is how we're going to break up or this is how i feel better if it happens if that makes sense and nine times out of ten if not all the time it actually doesn't happen the way it happens so it's harder because obviously it happened but it didn't happen the way i wanted it to happen so it's going to sting or hurt even more accepting and learning to look at things just how it is how it comes would help you in detaching and managing the situation better majority of the time the reason why this happens to us is because of that initial heat of like oh my god this has finally happened and it's happening the way it's happening oh my god how do i deal with it our mind immediately goes into that chaos combined with sadness a lot of overthinking and negative thoughts our minds are not clear at that point to be able to properly like logically think about things it's excuse it's normal it happens to all of us that we've all been there right one thing that would help you refocus is understanding that this has happened and the way it has happened and i'm going to accept it i'm going to leave it alone i'm going to accept it for 
for how it has happened and i will deal with it according to how it has happened not how i think it should have played out but literally how it is right now i'll accept it and move accordingly that's the first step into detaching from that situation or that person now the second step is understanding that the reason why you can't detach from a person or a situation or whatever it is that you're going through isn't because of that situation or that person it's because there's something in you that needs focus at that time listen this is huge i think this is a major thing that helps you even fully come out of it ask yourself what is it in me that cannot let go what part of me cannot seem to grasp but that this has happened and i should move forward or move on this will help you redirect the focus from that situation or that person the focus should completely come back to you understand that that person is not your problem that situation is not your problem that decision that was made is not your problem there is something in you that can't seem to process it properly to understand that it happened it's time to move on from this and go to something better once you get to that point of like they are not the problem i am the problem like something is up with me i can't seem to picture things i can't seem to put things in place i can't seem to you know focus or do the right thing there is something that needs attention within you that would also help you heavily to be like okay if i can't seem to let this guy go he has definitely let me go so why can't i let him go again you would instantly begin to notice that you would spend every single moment of your life every single moment of your day every second thinking about yourself searching within yourself before you know it time has gone by before you know it you're completely over the situation before you know it you can't even remember the situation that happened like you wouldn't even be able to think about it if you put that focus back into you does that make sense i hope it does because this has helped me so much in navigating so many situations that required me to move on from it has helped me so 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 much and i hope this actually does help you because this major thing this one thing in between is like the biggest thing that helps you refocus and you know redirect your mind into thinking about yourself in this situation what would make me feel better why can't i make myself feel better what is it my brain is telling me i can't seem to understand like what is it that my brain is actually doing to me that is destroying me like is my brain even destroying me do you know what i mean like you start to think about yourself so much that you don't even think about the person or the situation anymore before you know where time has gone time has passed you're completely fine you automatically detach from the situation without even trying i mean you're thinking about yourself that you you know taking your power back because i don't want to say that but that's exactly what it is like you taking your power back and begin to think about yourself and how you can figure things out within yourself putting your life together your head together your space together it's like resetting so you want to go back to the, the mindset you were before you met the person or the state of mind you were before start dealing with that situation the focus back to yourself realizing that you are not to blame but you are the person that needs the work within and not them or the situation the situation is already dead leave it alone do you get what i mean the last thing which is the third thing i'm going to talk about before i head out because i am literally so late falling in love with options listen as human beings and especially as women when we like something we build our lives and our world around that thing actually it could be a job it could be a man it could be pretty much anything we just kind of build our lives around it right we don't think there is more out there we don't think there's better we don't think that there are options that could be more befitting or fitting for us so we base everything on that so when it crashes it completely crumbles <laughs> like completely and we feel like we don't know what to do anymore because we're just left in limbo we don't know any other thing we don't know any other option we don't want any other option we don't think any other option is better for us i always say being an open-minded person especially an emotionally intelligent person you need to learn the habit of diversifying your thoughts and when you diversify your thoughts you pick into those different thoughts and then you begin to love them and pet them and now let me give you an example you're interviewing for a job in a location that you've always wanted to be in you've always wanted to move to that city the interview is going well i don't want you to think about that job in that city as your final bus stop if it didn't go well you would be left on the streets i want you to have the mindset of if one door closes many more doors could open and would be 
beautiful for me don't wrap your mind around this is the best option for me any other option might not work or will not work i think the best way to put this point is look at yourself as someone who is worthy of more so look at yourself and be like if i didn't get this if this didn't work out it's because there's something better out there for me that's manifestation and also living in abundance your head carries a lot of good oil and if things begin to leave your life or people begin to leave your life or certain things don't work out is because they are not meant for you the options on the other side are way better than what you are sobbing and crying over right now that will help you detach like this from situations and human beings that are not worth being in your life let your head your thoughts especially your intrusive thought not make you stuck in a cycle for no apparent reason major the things that you think about in this phase of you trying to get over a situation is all in your head i need you to step out of that for a moment and try to think okay this is where i'm going to leave this video for you guys today i hope it was helpful let me know your thoughts in the comments section below follow me on my social media platforms instagram tiktok threads all linked in the description box below thank you guys so much and i will see you in my next one Bye. Those of you that are listening in your car, at your job, you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now, cause we're about to go in. Hey, so everybody say, ooh.